Dear Greg, My brother is moving out of his house, and for a while he needs some storage space. He can't really afford to rent a storage unit, so he asked me to let him put his stuff in our garage for a while. It's quite a bit of stuff, but if I move some things around and I leave the car outside, I can get his things in my garage. The problem is, when my wife found out that I agreed to it, she hit the roof. She doesn't want to leave the car outside, and she doesn't want all his stuff in our garage. She thinks he'll leave it there forever. But I know it will only be for a couple of months. She's really making a big deal about this, and I just don't see the problem. I want to help my brother, but I also don't want a big fight at home about this. No matter what decision I make, somebody will be mad at me. What can I do? In any conflict, it's easy to become confused by the multitude of issues and details, and then we often fail to see what matters most. Then we're doomed. This conflict with your wife is not about storing stuff in a garage. It's not about putting a car outside in the driveway. With her anger, she's telling you that she's empty and afraid. She's afraid that you're ignoring her and not caring about her. And at least in part, she's right. Without talking to her beforehand, you agreed to give your brother storage space at the house where both you and your wife live. You didn't consider her feelings in this. With your behavior, you said, I don't care about you. And that's what's bothering her most, not the actual stuff that might be in her garage. She doesn't care about the garage. When we're in conflict, we tend to provide great mounds of evidence that we're right about this detail or that detail. We try to persuade people to believe as we do. We do that because it makes us feel either powerful or safe. Little difference between the two actually, powerful or safe. No doubt you've told your wife that this is your brother who needs your help. So how could you possibly refuse him, right? You've probably pointed out the things he's done for you in the past and that his stuff won't be there all that long and so on. In other words, it's also very reasonable on your part that you've given him permission to put his stuff there. You're trying to be right, but she's not hearing you because you're not addressing the central issue, which is her need for your love. And the moment you argue with her to prove your point, the more she hears, I don't love you. And then she feels more empty and afraid, and she becomes even more angry and stubborn in order to defend herself. See how this just gets worse and worse? And it's because nobody is identifying what the conflict is really about. No wonder we get into the arguments that just never seem to resolve. No wonder we have them over and over. And everybody is sure that they're right. But that doesn't make anybody feel much better. So, what's your next move here? We'll talk about that in our next session.